Rightio, I'm just in Woomera, South Australia, in the outback. And I'm here with, uh, with a crew of people, including the shearing contractor Bryce. Now Bryce, what are we doing in Woomera? Well, we've um, come up for a big trip and uh, for, for the experience. Uh, spend a few weeks and get these sheep shorn and um, so, something different. And well, that's what I was asking. We're here to shear some sheep, aren't we? Yeah, well, yeah, we're here to shear yeah. some sheep, yeah. yeah. So, uh, how many are we shearing? Uh, 11, 11,500 thereabouts. Yep. How many shearers? Five shearers. We might get the uh, six stand going once we get to the wool shed for a few days. Yep. And uh, uh, the big thing is we're going to be uh, trying out this shearing trail. Yep. A special, and uh, specially designed shearing trail with a marquee wool room and um, yeah, basically a portable the, uh, shearing shed built on a semi trailer. Be, yeah, now, uh, Woomera is most famous as uh, the home of the uh, rocket range. It used to fire military and civilian rockets. Yep. And it's still RAAF uh, base here. Are we going to be working anywhere near that? Well, we are apparently. We're going to go through boom gates in the morning to, uh, to, so to, to go out to this shearing trailer. So we've all got to um, we're working in a sign in and uh, yeah, we're working, working in a restricted area. That's right. Yeah, we're working in a yep. restricted area where uh, casual bomb training goes off or whatever happens out here. And um, yeah, yeah, it's going to be a bit of an experience going. Yeah, it could be interesting shearing sheep. I said the dogs all dogs all might clear out when the bombs go off, Bryce. <laughs> well, yeah, well, yeah, that's right. They yeah. Might. But anyway, so, um, yeah, you wouldn't think you're going to have to go through a boom gate to uh, go to work in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, got the, a, uh, outback station and got the a soldier, place is over a million acres apparently. Got so. a soldier checking us in. Well, yeah, it's going to be interesting. We're here, for, we're here for three weeks, and yep. uh, yeah, it's going to be a, a different experience. Oh, well, that's for sure. Yeah. Morning. There you go, mate. Good Who we got? Off here to the shearing trailer. Oh, okay. What yeah. names have we got, mate? Uh, Bryce, Michael, Jaylene, and Zach. Beautiful. That's right. You passed that one. So that was a test. <laughs> no, I've got to make it look like I'm doing my job, otherwise I've got to kick up the ass. Yep. Have fun. Good no worries. Good on you. Thank you. We'll Ciao. try and have fun. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. <laughs> And the second boom gate here for the morning. Get Not opening yet. Oh, good day. How you going? Um, so we've got to try and get through this to this range to go out in the Acuna shearing trail. Yep. So the, how do we get the gate, boom gate, the boom gate, gate open here? Uh, so you just have to uh, speak to the guys at the front gate and they'll let you through. Oh well, we've just been there, but they're not. How do we? They're not. We're just sitting here. Waiting. Oh, I've got to talk. Oh, righto. Oh, right. That's what you do. Yeah. Righto, I'll give that a wheel. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Got home again today, just sitting back there and sleep. Alright, we're just setting up the first morning. We're out here in the world's largest military restricted area, working in a portable five stand shearing shed. Here's the wall room, the marquee tacked onto the side of the shearing trailer.
this year and board. Built on the back of a swing trailer. That's it for day one. Now, what did you think of day one, Phil? How was the shoot? Oh, they're big. It's been a good year up here, so. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Big, good. strong. Uh, how about the dust? Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah. Probably I... worse. The mud's probably a bit worse. Yeah, I was, I was struggling to hold the cup. Um, the shed. What do you think about the uh, portable shed? Uh, it's got its cons and pros, yeah. but yeah, we'll try it for a few more days. That's right. It's a bit better. You save on dragging, but getting them out can be a bit awkward, can't yeah. it? Yeah, a bit, bit more dangerous too. Yep. Yep. Heavy doors, but... Yeah. Anyway, we'll wait along, aren't we? Yeah, we've plodded along. So. Yeah, we haven't got any choice, have we? No, <laughs> not yet. Just about to start in the morning. Um, Anita, uh, your first time, like the rest of us, shearing in a um, portable shearing shed. Yep. What's it like in the wool room? Um, well, yesterday it started off a little bit crazy yep. until we got down pat, and no, it's getting there. We're getting a rhythm, yeah. and it's not too bad. You haven't got much room to work in there, though. No, we don't. We don't have a lot of room to put the wool. Yeah. Um, that's probably the only issue that I think we find is there's not enough wool room. But other than that, it's fantastic. Yeah, everything. Everything else. All the shears are nice and close to the table, yeah. not too much water. Yeah, it's not too high, which is great for somebody my height, yeah. which is good. Now, so. yesterday, yesterday it was pretty hot. Uh, how did you find it inside there? Um, it's not too bad inside. Yep. Outside in the heat, though, yeah. you feel it. You feel you, you notice that it does do something when you step out into the sun. So. Got an air conditioner there, that's going to help. That did help. And uh, a couple of big doors there. Yep. Plenty of breeze flowing, plenty of blue, uh, breeze flowing through. So, yeah, not too bad, is it? It hasn't been too bad. Yep, well. But ask me at the end of the week how I like the heat. That's right, we've got, so. a, we've got a while to go, so that's we'll see right. how we're going at the end of it. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Anita. No problem. Right now, it's early morning, and I'm out the back of the trailer, and I'm with Hayden now. Hayden, Spends a fair bit of time shearing with us, but uh, what's your job role now, Hayden? Ah, uh, penning up for this trailer. Yep. Got a, got a um, few sheep here, got the dogs. Yeah. Yep, so you got to run them up this race. Yep. Up around that spire right there. Yep. And you got to keep that uh, the top race full at all times. Yep, yep. So it's pretty constant work. Yeah, no, there's a bit going on. But, and um, it's, uh, it's been pretty hot the first couple of days. How's your team of dogs been handling that? Yeah, no, nah, they're struggling, but we're, we're all good now. It's cooled down a bit. Uh, yeah. Not used to the heat up here. So hopefully the uh, dogs will buddy handle it a bit better in the cooler weather. Yep, that's for sure. Now, yesterday, during the third run, there was a bit of excitement in the shed. What happened? Yeah, bloody bomb. And it come from outside the shed for once. No, <laughs> bloody um, big yeah. explosion. Yeah, there was a big bomb went off, and uh, I could actually feel a shock wave come through. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And uh, pretty loud. Yeah, it was. I had bloody, the bloody ram shaking and everything, yeah. Yeah, it was a few k's away, but there was a massive column of smoke. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, we had, we had no warning it was going to come, did we? No, no, we didn't, know. No. Yeah, so, yep, that was uh, something you don't see at every shear and shed. No, that's for sure. Yeah, right, Hayden. Thank you. Cheers. Oh, yeah. 
know it's the end of another day and I'm here with the station manager, Adam. Adam, can you tell us a bit about Arcuna? How big is it? First uh, yep, so uh, Arcuna is about 3,500 square k's. Yep, and um, for us southerners who don't talk in square kilometres, how many acres would that be? So, yeah, it's close to 900,000 acres. Bloody hell, not that far from a million acres. Not, not far, so yeah. With, yep. Well, with the place next door that we sort of combined all in there, there's about 4,500 square k's now, so yeah, um, so, so it'd be over a million, yeah. So, how do you find the sheep in? in in a station that big when yep. you're going to muster them. Yep, so it's all done uh, basically all with their aircraft. Yep. So I fly the airplane and we, um, yeah, have blokes on the ground that. that you radio um, down and tell them where the sheep are. Yeah, radio down, and tell them where they are, and, yep. and they put them together and bring them in, yeah. Of course, this is owned by the Hanbury family, and um, it's not the only place they own down here. Um, they got other stations up here? Yeah, so we've got a, got a few now. Um, yep. Sort of, we lease, lease a few and um, adjust on a few, so I think all up there there's about six million acres now. What the hell, six so, million acres? Yeah, so we run, run, um, yeah. And you're, you're managing all that? Yeah, so I sort of oversee it all, yeah. Yep. 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 So you got sheep on this place, what, what are yep. on the other places? Yep, so we've got sheep on this place and then, um, yeah, we run cattle on most of the others, so we run yep. Angus cattle, predominantly Angus cattle, yeah. Yep. So we sort of, yeah, that's all sort of pretty new venture, so we're building numbers up there, we're up to sort of three and a half thousand breeders at the moment, so yeah, just slowly ticking away, obviously. Of course, um, as most people know, you've been badly affected by drought in recent years, but how's yep. it going now? Yeah, no, obviously, um, if you have a look around our side in a minute, you'll yep. see there's plenty of feed. Um, yep. Yeah, we sort of received 100 mil two months ago. Um, so yeah, obviously that summer rain that's pulled up plenty of plenty of pastures. And, and you've stuff. had good rain on most of your stations, have you? Yeah, so all of them actually. Yeah, yep. so everywhere across across the northwest of SA or all of SA really, and um, most places have had all good rain. So well, yeah. yeah, that's fantastic to hear. And uh, I suppose you're going to be a busy man in the next year or so. We're uh, getting things going again. Yep, no, it certainly are. We've got yeah, a, you got a lot on your ahead of us. Got a lot on your plate. Yeah, I've been let you go then. No worries. Get on you, thanks, Adam. It's the last day here on this site, and I'm here next to the truck. Marty's loading up some wool to take it away. How you going, Marty? Good day, good yourself? Yeah, pretty good. That's now, good. it's been pretty interesting for us guys over here in the shed. We yeah. had to get security clearance to work in a wool shed. We've seen massive bombs going off just down the road. We've had tanks driving past the shed, military aircraft flying low overhead. I guess this is all run-of-the-mill stuff for you? Yeah, pretty much. Just sort of have to deal with it day to day and they, they shut us down for a couple of weeks at a time every now and then when they're doing um, drone testing. And 
Do they? So you're not not allowed out here for a couple of weeks? Yeah, they yeah, completely right. shut it down. Yeah. yeah. And do they tell you when there's? Yeah, bomb? they give us plenty yeah. of notice, sort of a month or two notice, so we can get all water sorted. What about when they're letting the bombs off? Though, do they tell you that? Oh, uh, yeah, they let us know when they're doing it. Yeah. Um, sometimes when they're doing bigger bombs, we're not allowed out here. But when they're doing little little explosions, they're doing it at the moment. It's not so bad. They were little ones. Yeah, they were only small ones. Well, we, <laughs> we can feel everything shaking here. Yeah, it's pretty pretty wild. Oh, isn't it? Yeah. the big ones must be massive. Yeah, that, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. We can feel them back at the house when they go off. Yeah. 45 to 50 k's for me. So. Yep. Now, um, okay, we're finishing here today. Yep. Uh, what's, where are we going next? So, back to the house, back to the home shed at the moment. Um, and then possibly pack that shed up there and move it down to the pond, which is south of Umar. Yep. So, so, how far away up. is the uh, home shed? Is you say 50 k's? Yeah, right? about 50 k's, yep. 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 And, the, and, and the pines? Uh, from Umar, that would be only about oh, 15 k's. Yep. Yep, south. So that'd be the closest one? Yeah, that'd be the closest one. Okay, uh, now, hopefully we're gonna get them in three weeks, and if you guys can keep finding mobs of sheep like the one we're on now, I think we'll get there. Oh, they're not bad mob, eh? Yeah, that, there's no mud in them. Good to hear. And that's, uh, get a better cut, it gets better. Okay, thanks, Marty. No worries we'll be at all. seeing you around more in the next couple of weeks. I don't suppose you get any weekends off this time of year. No, not this on. time of year. We'll just punch no, through and get it all done. So we'll get it done as quick as you can. I suppose Absolutely. you'll be glad to see the end of us. Yes, yeah, certainly will. <laughs> Thank you. That no, should be all right. Thanks. Well, it's Sunday afternoon, and I'm at the Woomera Missile Park, an outdoor museum of some of the stuff they used here on the range back in the day. Early Monday morning, week two, and we're just getting set up at the Arcuna Homestead Woolshed. Wool room here is where the manager also keeps his aeroplane. with a new addition to the team, Rowena. Uh, That's me. Yep. Where are you from, Rowena? Uh, Western Australia. Yep. Southwest corner. Yep. Town yep. You're, now. you're a bit far from home now. Where are you living now? Uh, now I'm based in Barra, which is South Barra. Australia. Yeah. A few it's hours. A few hours from here. Um, so you've done a lot of work in the outback, haven't you? Uh, a little bit. Yep. A lot of work in South Australia outback now. Yep. Up in the pastoral, pretty remote area. Yeah, so you're used to this sort of stuff? Yeah, I love it. Yep, yeah. and you're here for a couple of weeks? I'm here for you guys for one week. Oh, one, you're only here for one week? Yep. Okay, we we'll have to and find somewhere else. I'm going to go back to After. my team. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just uh, dropping by for a really short visit. Okay, uh, well, we've done half a day and you've fitted in very well so far and um, <laughs> doing a good job. I think, uh, yeah, you think it's going to be all right, isn't it? Uh, it is going all right. It's too fast for me, really. It's too what? <laughs> too fast for me to like. I've cool. done the thing, which is uh, good. Yeah, that's all right. Well, uh, great job, Rowena, and oh, thank thanks really for coming really and helping us out. Everyone. Yep. You're
Day in the shed. Yeah. How's the shed going, Adam? Yeah, not too bad. Yeah. You like it better in the um, trailer? Yeah, yeah, just probably a bit heavier to drag, but no, yeah. trailer's all right too, but yeah. probably the shed's better. You were top of the top of the tally board last week on the trailer. You gonna oh, you gonna keep it up? No. <laughs> you no. got another couple of weeks, I reckon you can hang on. No, 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 a couple of young blokes who can have a go. Yeah, there's yeah, okay. I reckon I reckon you'll you'll hang in there <laughs> anyway. You see yeah. how it goes. Yeah. Um, so how long are we here for in the shed? How was that? How long are we here in the shed for? Three days, I think. Three days, then we're back on the portable shearing shed. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So yeah, it is good being shed here, but we won't be uh, here too much longer. No, no, that's right. No, no, all right. good. Two weeks to go, Adam. You can do it. <laughs> that's a beauty. At the end of the board here, the bloke's here next to me. That's young Dom. How are you going, Dom? Thank you. Now, this is our fourth day in the station shed. Yeah. But things got a bit more serious today. What's going on? Oh, we're shearing rams. We're ramming the shears? Yep. How are you been going with them? Oh, I struggled a bit, but pushing through. Yeah, they strain a bit, don't they? Yeah, they do. How are they going? Are they coming all right? They came good, yeah. Yep. Not yep. too much dust either, is there? No, not really. No, we um, haven't seen much mud since the first week, have we? No, not really, bugger all. Yep. So, I had one with a few of the But so we've gone a day over here, haven't we? Yeah. A few more than what they told us? Oh, what is it? A lot, yeah, a lot a more. A lot more, yeah. Yeah. So we're going to have to keep at it if we're going to finish next week, aren't we? Yeah, that's it. So if we all stick at it, Dom. Yeah, you, that's you're it. going well. So if we all stick at it, we might get there. It's too easy. Good on you, Dom. Thank you. I wouldn't say it was too easy either. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Daniel's just put the last ram out the door. We're now finished, finished at the station shed. Tomorrow we're moving back to the portable shed for the rest of the rest of the uh, duration of the job. Right, we're back at the portable shed. Had a different site, and we're going to be here probably another seven days or so. Hopefully, that'll get them done. It's a Monday of the third week, and unfortunately Rowena had to leave us, so we got a new member of the team. And here she is, it's Evie. Yadi. <laughs> How are you going, Evie? Yeah, good, thanks. Um, where are you from, Evie? I'm from Port Lincoln. Nice, nice yeah, spot for Lincoln. Down on yeah. the Air Peninsula. Yeah. Yep. So, uh, you done, done much rousing before? Nah, this is the first proper rousing gig. 
fair dinkum. I've only done, um, yeah, only done crutching before. Oh, yeah. For about a week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you learn it pretty quick. You work, yeah. you work with sheep before at all? Yeah, I've worked with sheep before. Yeah, yeah on done. properties. Yeah, yep. I've done a bit on the station. Yeah, so you, know. you got a bit of an idea. Yep. Yeah, a little bit of an idea. Yep. yep. And what else have you done? I've worked on a shark cage diving boat down in Port Lincoln. So oh, that, that would have been a good job, wouldn't it? Yeah, it was a very good job. Got yeah. to meet a lot of people from all around the world and uh, swim with sharks. So I actually did that myself once and yeah. it was great fun. Yeah, yeah it's a good fun. Uh, it's a very popular thing to do down in Lincoln and swim the sea lions as well. Yep. They love it. They're like dogs of the sea. <laughs> great stuff. Yeah. Now, um, well, I hope you're going to have a good week with us here. Yeah. Um, and if the rest of us have a good week, we might be able to go home on a weekend, hopefully. Oh, that would be the go. Yeah. Thanks for having great. me. No worries. It's great to have you on board, Evie. Cheers. Thank you. Okay, I'm here at a board with Luke. It's just, just about to start in the morning. Now, yeah, Luke, uh, Rousey, at the moment, you've also been shearing as well? Yeah, mate, doing a bit of that, yep. Yeah, it's handy to have a backup shearer. Um, now, but we nearly lost you yesterday. <laughs> there was an incident. Tell us what happened. Oh, well, we were going on the undermine and the sheep decided to kick the handpiece and get it over on the wool table. Yeah, well, I uh, kicked, kicked the handpiece out of your hand. I looked up, you were walking towards me. It was going straight at your face. I just saw you sway your head out of the way. You went straight over your shoulder, in between a couple of wool rollers, and landed in the middle of the wool table way over here. I don't think I've ever seen one get kicked that far. Now, uh, yeah, so probably the thing I went saw was coming straight at your face. Oh, just instinct, mate. I just turned yeah. away and hope for the best. You look pretty calm anyway. Yeah, I was impressed. More calmer than you did, yeah. isn't yeah. yeah, well, I wasn't calm, I can tell you. <laughs> yeah, so um, when we finish here, we've got to go back to the homestead wool shed and shear some rams. You got to give us a hand, are you? Yep. Yeah. Well, we're going to need a hand. We'll all be pretty tired by then. Um, Cut out day, we know when it's going to be. No, we don't yet. Apparently there's still three more mobs to come in yet, yeah. hey, telling us. So. No, one, no one seems to know how many's in them. So, no. Uh, yeah. No. yeah, so it could be a long haul yet. Good. Uh, good, good to have you helping out though, Luke. All right, thanks, Ben. Good work. Right now, it's a Sunday, the third week, and finally we're starting the last day. We worked all through this week. Sheep kept on coming. There's heck is more and more of them. And now we think we're gonna to finish today. I'm here with the wool class of Zach. How you going, Biddy? Pretty good. Uh, Zach, how are you feeling about uh, getting this job finished today? Oh yeah, no, it'll, it's been a good experience, but um, it's nice to think that, uh, yeah, we can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Yep, and uh, well, from the wool class's point of view, what's the clip been like? Oh, no, sensational. Typical um, Collinsville, uh, Collinsville blood type, uh, heavy cutters and uh, yep. high yielding. Uh, stylish uh, drop of wool. It's a credit to the station. And for Outback uh, wool, it's not too dusty, is it? No, no, it's surprising. That and it's, uh, the, the recent rains have uh, done, done the world of good. It's, uh, it'll yield well. And very good from uh, the point of uh, vegetable matter. Not too much yeah, contamination not, there. Not too much there, no. It's, yeah. um, no. it's a few prickles, but um, nothing for what I was expecting. Yeah, no. some of us got sore hands, but uh, it hasn't been anything hard and scratchy. That's right, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, how many bales are we going to get? Well, we just cracked uh, over 300 there a couple of days ago, so it'll yep. yeah, perhaps uh, not quite 350. Yep, so yeah, good experience. It's been hard work and Certainly. pretty constant the last week, hasn't it? it? Certainly has, yep, yeah. yep, to get the job done. Yeah, well, so it's going to be um, yeah, it's a great experience coming up here, but it's going to be great to go home too, isn't it? <laughs> Always is, yep. yep. Well, I hope we can get the job today, done today, Zach. No worries. We'll be hitting the road. Good on your beard. Oh, it's 
4.37 on Sunday afternoon. We just chucked the last one out the door. There's Jamie, come for the last couple of days to give us a hand. Great job, Jamie. Cheers, mate. Down here we got Daniel. Daniel, it's after 4.30, we're up the last hour on Sunday afternoon. Yeah, mate. We yeah. finally finished, how are you feeling? Yeah, pretty good about it now. Yep. Yeah. Pretty tired, though? Yeah, tired, mate, very tired. We've done seven days in a row, so... Yeah, sheep have been pretty active up here, so they'll hang on. So how are the hands? You got the sore spots in your hands? Yeah, a few sore ones, mate, little prickly ones, but yeah, they'll come out. They weren't too scratchy on the arms, though, were they? No, no, pretty good there, yeah. No. So uh, she's all over now, we're going to pack up and have a shower. What's our travel plans for tonight? Uh, I think we're just going to head through to Port Augusta or something and get a bit of camp and then head off in the morning. A couple of hours, uh, couple of hours off the trip uh, on um, tomorrow. Yeah, yep. Yeah, big day's drive tomorrow and we're back home. Yeah, and up a few beers tonight and celebrate the completion of the job. Well, we, we'll certainly enjoy it through tonight. Well done, yeah, Daniel. Well done. Thanks, man. So there you have it. We've just uh, been an interesting experience. We've just had three weeks in a portable wool shed in the desert. We've had bombs going off around us. We've had tanks driving past. And we've had some interesting trip this year. Uh, it's been a great experience. <laughs> No, I'll pray. 